Hello friend, today uh, we will start the earthwork cross section. Take off the earthwork quantity. So, before we make alignment and the road profile, so we will start here. The first step uh, export this profile and alignment in Lane XML. Go to the output, export Lane XML. So gel, surface, alignment, file, okay, so save this, then example file, save. So I create one assembly, so no need to make setting again and again, this is a template not assembly, but a template was created before to be a template. So let's open this template directly. So export the land XML, uh, import the land XML file, which one we exported before. Go to import land XML. This one, land XML, XML. Open. Okay. So this is alignment shown here. Do an example. So for profile, go to profile, create profile from surface. This is already we have. Just draw. Go to profile view. This is the profile. So. Uh, now we need to assembly. So here I have one assembly already created before. So new assembly we will learn in other. I already put one video there, but this was omitted uh, without sound. So in another day we will create the assembly. Check if we found one assembly here. This section was created before. Here we can find one assembly. We can make copy paste from here. So this one assembly. So we can copy. make paste here so this one assembly you can check assembly property this is assembly name assembly so we for three so first step we have assembly the profile and alignment and surface so first thing just go to the corridor create corridor Give him corridor name, alignment at 35, profile as 35 volt profile, assembly this one, target surface is the work, ground surface. Make OK. 
so let the setting same as it is station and station frequency here we can change the accuracy make it two meter so make this low fall okay apply rebuild the corridor So our corridor was created. Remember we have assembly from here to here. This one carriageway, this is the watch one meter, one meter, both sides show. Let's check the dimension. Eight point five meter to the width of the road. So this corridor created as per assembly, as per our carriageway. So this is the corridor created. Go to corridor properties. Create the surface. So remember, here we can create two surfaces. A surface give him top stop stop links top edit create one board surface give him bottom surface style bottom bottom links here we can add the data select the boundaries corridor extends as outer boundaries still adds loop apply give the corridor get ok so surface are created here in our corridor the next step Create center line. Select alignment it's 35. SL collection. Simple line collection. Go by range of station. Let start signage and change. You can change by manually. The width of section sample line we need uh, around uh, maybe 30 30 meters because we don't have the more cut width. So here our sample line created. The next step create compute material alignment 35 sample line collection number 3 Hit ok target surface OGM data surface bottom remember here we make target surface OGL and our bot bottom surface like we will up we have to cut Okay. Now go to the section. Create multiple section. This setting will be later. Maybe next. Here we can change the height of. Make it automatic. Okay. multiple section just click so here are our section was created
to change the video, but uh, here we need to some setting to make the adjustment to scale, make it uh, 185, make it 182. Go section view properties. So make it twenty twenty. Elevation. Can make four to ten. No need go. To the section view two properties change them style this is existing make it all this one top this interesting make it OGL FRL uh, top levels automation bottom offset can take it from Sorry, make it all up. Make it up, yeah. Change volume. So, the material we can add our cloud to do and ground fill. Add this one. Apply. Go to section view properties, two sections, level set, we put all low levels. OGL here we can change in existing ground top the design surface bottom in the data surface cut in top edit go there make labels add grid break two times segment just add grid break here we can change offset and elevations grid break here we can change Your lifetime segment name. you can change here grid so this uh, dimension you can make it uh, make it five when after
it's even better now this is the output cross section now clear this one just change the scale to better better look now so this is our ground surface this showing our ground level here we have OGL, FRL, formation and offset this is our ground surface this is showing our FRL this is our formation levels this is offset so offset also showing the and vertical length frame this one this is great slope the assembly uh, load thickness we have 25 cm like this 5 cm as well 25 cm aggregate like this so we need here material table total volume then we can change this table row 20 is table first step 30 Let's make it default. This is our cut field quantity. Chain length cut area square meter field area. Volume cut field volume. This is total our cut field volume and cut volume. So I hope you like this video and. Uh, understand how to create the upper class section save file So this is the template uh, I will save. So if we don't have template, so there is lots of setting we need to do the adjustment. In another video, we will uh, create template. How to create a template and uh, how to make the setting properly. Because there are two three templates, just uh, due to the shortage of time, we will make template and easily we can make, uh, save our time. Make our for finishing time so i hope you enjoy thank you for watching have a good